Stumble Guys is a clone that outshone its parent, Fall Guys, in terms of popularity. The second most downloaded mobile game of 2022 and developed by only 5 people, it had smoked even top tier franchise games. In today's video, we shall learn of its complete saga, as to how it all began, how it grew to such heights. Moreover, I'll explain why Fall Guys might never make it to the mobile platform and why that could be the biggest mistake of its developers. Stumble Guys was developed by Kitka Games, a new game development company in Finland with only five people. That's right, Abanda 5 brought out the second most downloaded game of 2022. Furthermore, it was their debut game. I mean, the developers had experience, with one having previously worked at Fingersoft and others on games such as Critical Ops. The concept was obviously borrowed from Fall Guys, but the lead developer revealed he had originally meant to create a fast-paced racing game for mobile devices. However, market research showed people were more inclined toward other elements. So, taking inspiration from multiplayer games, they curated this game, adding a twist of their own. What made Stumble Guys stand out from other clones is that where other developers simply latched onto the title of Fall Guys in a bid to realize quick money and fame, the developers behind Stumble Guys were actually working to bring out a game that would last with players. They had spent a significant amount of time perfecting the gameplay, striking a balance between its elements and providing an overall fine experience. Next, we come to its release. As of October 2020, the game had a soft launch on Android. Just months into the release of Fall Guys, daily downloads saw a steady increase to reach 80 to 90,000 in January 2021. When the game was released globally across iOS and Android, there were no doubts about large numbers, but their exponential growth had yet to begin. In fact, for a whole year, it remained below the charts, with only a few thousand active players. This proved to be good for the developers, as a quick release funneled in player feedback, and not shooting to peak popularity allowed the little team to steadily work on the gameplay elements. Before the end of 2021, daily downloads had climbed to three to 400,000 and then over a million in 2022. On June 25th, it saw 1.5 million downloads, the highest recorded. Likewise, earnings from the game had been increasing exponentially. It made $860,000 in January 2022. By June, the figure would multiply eight times, amounting to $6.6 million. For a studio with not even 10 people, this was indeed a remarkable achievement. Anyway, current stats reveal a total of 273 million downloads until January 2023, and earnings close to $81 million from in-app purchases. It came to be described as the most successful game of 2022, having overtaken many established titles. Now, the question is, how did Stumble Guys get such a huge success? Obviously, Fall Guys not being available on mobile devices is a giant cause. Being the kind of game Fall Guys is, it is meant to be played on a smartphone, given how few mechanics the game uses and the short duration of matches. And that's exactly what happens in Stumble Guys. One only needs to move his character around and hit the jump button, making it incredibly easy for a novice to pick it up. Unlike PUBG Mobile or Free Fire, which involve an array of on-screen buttons, two simple controls allow the game to be played. No need to go through a tutorial or how-to guide. Then the round kicks off with only 32 players, half of whom are eliminated after every round, eventually leaving a single winner. With each round getting over in a minute, the game could be enjoyed on the go, and one need not dedicate one to two hours of consensuous play. Then, the developers sought the outreach of influencers, running paid campaigns with YouTubers, streamers and TikTokers in ways to increase popularity of the game. This doubled their revenue. And to keep all these new players engaged, the developers focused on creating a strong community. For this, they hired a community manager. And now they have over 800,000 members on Discord, where players can team up, take part in competitions, request game features and even receive special discounts. The timing was crucial. When Stumble Guys came out, people were in quarantine, and social games as a whole received a major push. Stumble Guys also saw a surge in downloads when Fall Guys was declared free to play. As people searched for the latter on their phones, it reached the height of its popularity on June 25th. Going ahead, Fall Guys would wear off, but this one is still going strong. A noteworthy reason behind the popularity of Stumble Guys was that the original Fall Guys was never made available on the mobile platform, and perhaps it would not arrive for a long time. It was because, at the time of its release, the development team was not sufficient, due to which they could not swiftly port the game to other consoles. We talked about this problem in the Rise and Fall video of Fall Guys, do check it out after this video. Well, back then it was a paid game, 
and the paid app model doesn't quite work with mobile users, so they prioritised releasing more and more updates and versions for console gaming. They even sold the publishing rights for the game's mobile version over to a Chinese company named Bilibili, which released it for mobile users in China under the name Jelly Bean, Ultimate Knockout. But this particular mobile version was not made available anywhere else outside of China. In 2022, Fall Guys was made free to play and even released on the Nintendo Switch and Xbox Series consoles. It was the perfect hour to bring it out on smartphones as well. Yet there was a major hurdle with Epic Games. The same Epic Games that stepped in as a saviour for Fall Guys has now deterred a mobile version from coming out, and that's because of an ongoing legal dispute with Apple, which no one knows how long it will take to settle. Apple and Google even removed the publisher's Fortnite mobile from their stores in 2020. In such situations, a mobile version of Fall Guys would not have been able to find a place on the App Store. The success of StumbleGuys caught the attention of a large mobile game publisher, Scopely, who bought it from Kitty Games, but it was not disclosed how much it was bought for. To sell off the game was the right decision, since the team was too small, and with the rates at which the game was climbing in popularity, it could have gotten out of hand before long. On the other hand, Scopely expressed willingness to carry the game to the next level, and they had the resources to do so. The entire story goes to show what a blunder it was not to release Fall Guys on mobile devices. If Mediatonic had given priority to porting the game to mobile devices from the beginning and released it on time, they could have achieved the success that went to Stumble Guys, and what an even bigger title it would have become! Now, even if a mobile version of Fall Guys does come around, it will have Stumble Guys for competition, whereas Stumble Guys has already broken ground on PCs and has just been released on Xbox. It would go up against Fall Guys on its own turf, thus in the mobile games business, it is essential to be able to move fast, as there are thousands of developers who would clone a game as soon as it shines. One might wonder, how is it that StumbleGuys has managed to survive? Well, it wasn't the only clone out there. Another deceptively similar title, Fall Gang Knockout, had been removed from the Apple Store after developer Digital, the former publisher of Fall Guys, reported the game. It had received 81,000 downloads by then and had even made its developer $3,500. So, why did StumbleGuys not meet a similar plight? We don't know the exact reason, but presumably, StumbleGuys is on a very tight rope between inspiration and copy. Its overall appearance, colours and gameplay very much resemble Fall Guys, but the developers have given its characters a different look, where people can change their skins and some more features that are unique to Stumble Guys. That is how it could circumvent copyright laws and craft a name of its own. In contrast, other developers had blatantly copied everything down to levels, characters and maps. It remains to be seen how the game plays out. At present, it is extremely popular, even more so than Fall Guys ever was. Then, in collaboration with the YouTuber known as Mr. Beast, the game features new skins, events, and maps based on his unique sets. Even a collaboration with the Hollywood movie Barbie led more players to discover the game. Already available on the Xbox, the game is likely to surface on PlayStation and Nintendo consoles in the near future. If the developers are able to pull off interesting collaborations and somehow make them a part of pop culture, then the game can surely stick around for a long time. Otherwise, as is the case with such games, they run a wild course for a couple of years and then die down for want of innovation. The same happened with the Fruit Ninja game, which you can learn about in the left video. And for those who have not watched the video on the rise and fall of Fall Guys, click the video to the right. Do press the like button, subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next video. Till then, adios.